How's it going traders? Your boy TJ is back with another video. I wanted to talk about how to try and not waste your money trading Forex. In this industry, it can be very costly when making mistakes or trying to learn. There's courses for sale. You could either sign up to a broker and then lose all your money. The chances of you losing are really high. It's something like 95%. There's methods to the madness of becoming a full-time trader. Hope you guys watched to the end of the video. A lot of top tips that you guys will learn from myself and also stuff I've learned from other people. Make sure to like the video if you enjoy it, but subscribe right now with notifications turned on to be up to date with my channel. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I upload in shorts too every day, one a day. Make sure to stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. Scoop. One of the biggest problems is over trading. Too many traders do it and don't even want to change their trading plan so they stop. They have an addicting personality with an addictive mindset trying to get rich quick and obviously that doesn't work. We all know that. If you didn't know that, you know it now. If you don't compound the account to grow it or if you've got a, a bigger size account for maybe a prop firm challenge and using 1% risk, you're just going off what people try and tell you. Use 1% risk. However, when you actually take it into consideration, why do you need to use anything more than like 0.2%? 0.25% on a 400k account is 1k. If you're making 1k every 0.25%, then you're laughing. The addictive personality comes into play when you're trading a big size account and even a small size account. And this is where a lot of people don't grow and develop their skills as a trader. Being able to trade these big size accounts with small risk is the correct way to do it. A huge example of trading smartly is hitting a trade like 1740. 1740 going into 1760. That's 200 pips with a 10 pip per sell, that's 20%. If you hit even a 1%, 2% trade, why do you need to trade even more? If you're making profit and you're withdrawing from that prop firm, your account is completely safe. It's not going anywhere, it's in profit, you can't lose. I've done it before where I've over traded, made like 60K on FTMO, and then lost it all, blew the account. I've done that 100% before, and People do that all the time. If you think you're going to keep these funded accounts risking 1%, then think again. You just won't. Stop watching traders on YouTube with your high sums of money thinking you can do the same because you can't. And those people are buying more firm challenges in order to make the content, but also to show that how well they can trade. Nine times out of ten, they're losing. Which is why you need to just look at yourself and care about yourself. As long as you're profitable and training correctly, that's the best way to be. I've never bought courses. I've never actually bought Forex signals ever in my life. I, I do think you need to stop wasting your money with Forex signals. It is good to look at other people's trades and see their trading idea. However, you can't see it and believe it. You need to take what you see with a pinch of salt traders out there aren't making the money they're saying and then they're selling the courses and forex signals so they can make the money and keep selling the dream you guys are funding these people's live accounts prop firm challenges and that's where it has to stop i didn't follow someone and this is just my own personal experience i never followed someone made money from someone like i have never followed someone and made money in this industry and that was when I first started off. I haven't actually followed any anyone since, but when I was trying to make a video for like certain YouTubers, I won't even say their names just because I, I can't be bothered, but they ain't good. <laughs> They're not good. And I'm sitting here, you know, wearing a Nike t-shirt. They've got their Lambos on their drives and I followed them for months and months and months, paying a hundred pounds. And I checked out their monthly profit and it wasn't what it meant to be. So instead of wasting your money with these guys, who cares if you can't be a full-time trader in two years time? At least you haven't lost any money. You need to learn for free, not by costly mistakes being made. Therefore, just sign up, get a demo account, get a free trial from a prop firm. Just enjoy the process. Too many people focus on the end goal and then they give up. And if you've given up because you lost too much money in Forex, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that you've had bad experiences, but you have to blame yourself as well and look at the bigger picture. Why didn't it work out? Did I actually put enough effort into the Forex industry or was it just trying to get rich quick, trying to find an escape to make money? And that's what a lot of people try and do. 
and escape to make money. However, you can't just cheat life, you can't cheat a skill. This is a hard industry. At the start, I was waking up, 6 a.m., trading, looking at charts all day until about 9 p.m. Even this morning, you can go into my free Telegram group, I was up at like 5 in the morning trading, looking at my trade, seeing what's going on. I'm not, I'm not waking up thinking, oh my god, I can't believe I'm having to work right now. I'm, it's my it's my life. This is my this is everything and I make it everything and if it like the gym I go to the gym every morning. I make it everything. I'm disciplined. I stay disciplined and that is the main thing Stop wasting your money use demo accounts and learn yourself watch YouTube videos grind actually take it seriously and be proud of the work that you're putting in Hard work pays off. At least put hard work into something that's going to achieve you big things in life instead of working hard for someone else I, I accept everyone has shit to do we all have jobs xyz but you can start and you can start and that's the thing if you don't think you can you can start get it done get on the trading view watch the charts make a few trades put them in a group just learn just start honestly just learn and start and i and i know that this will be the best for everyone watching. Now too much money will be lost at the start. And I don't want people to lose the money I lost at the start because it, it destroyed me. Young age, getting yourself in debt, you're, you're seeing and you're believing, but you don't know the ins and outs. Now I know the ins and outs. I tell people how it is and that's how we do it. We just hit good trades, risk to reward, great risk management. And we just take our time. If, if you've hit a trade for 2% that week, just stop trading. I care a lot about the industry that I'm in. I care a lot about the people that watch me. I want to make everyone successful. Up the free trading group. Links in description. Nothing's paid for. Watch the way I trade. Watch how I do my analysis with chart markups. I will do live streams on YouTube also. I'm pumping out as much content as I can for free for everyone to witness and Yo, if I get rich from not trading, I'll make, I'll make sure to let everyone know. And I'll let you guys know a full breakdown of my monthly earnings, if that's my other company set up that I've got, or if that's within the Forex trading. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and I just want everyone to be successful. Please don't just go full guns blazing, depositing money into live accounts or buying prop firm challenges when you don't even have a month, six months, a year, two years experience. It takes time. Don't rush the process of course enjoy yourself have a bit of a gamble buy it buy a challenge count if that makes if that's going to make you happy please don't put yourself into debt for training it has been your boy tj i love making these videos thank you for watching like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace baby